Reading music or sight reading is a much feared topic amongst guitarists, and I've spent a long time wondering exactly why this is. In fact, you might be wondering about my sight reading. Am I good at reading music? You might also be wondering, in a greater sense, do guitarists at this point in time still need to be able to read music at all? Well, I'll get back to that shortly. But for me personally, I would describe myself as a good sight reader. Give me something primarily consisting of quarter notes or eighth notes, and I'll be able to read it for you in real time. If you give me a piece of music to read that primarily consists of 16th notes or 32nd notes, then I'll need a few minutes to work out some fingerings that work on the guitar neck, and then I'll be fine. I've managed to cultivate my own sight reading skills through years of study, practice, and of course, a lot of professional work. But it led me to think, what are the reasons why guitarists are generally thought to be bad readers? And I can think of at least three reasons. Before we go any further, make sure to give this video a like. And if you've been enjoying the videos right here on my channel, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future playing videos, lesson videos, and important discussions about music much like this one. And if you'd like to learn my approach to guitar, make sure to join me at bensguitarclub.com where you can pick up my guitar masterclasses and bundle packages, including the BGC bundle, which features all of my guitar masterclasses in one package. So why can't guitarists typically read music? The first thing that I can think of is the legend surrounding guitarists and sight reading. It's generally expected that a guitarist will be very bad at sight reading. You've probably heard the joke, how do you get a guitarist to stop playing? Well, you hand them a piece of sheet music. Now, as funny as that classic joke is, I sometimes wonder that since it's expected that you will be bad at sight reading on guitar, I wonder if that in turn affects your confidence while reading. I can remember playing with several jazz ensembles and some big bands when I was a lot younger, and I can recall just falling apart when a reasonably complex piece of music was put in front of me because I lacked confidence in this area of my playing. Lacking confidence as a reader was a psychological hurdle that I had to overcome. I wonder if this is something that you've encountered. Drop a comment and let me know. The second reason is very well known, and it's something I've talked about a little bit in some of my other videos. There are many places to play the same note on the guitar neck. For example, let's take the pitch of middle C on a piano, which you can find at the first fret of the B string. We can play this exact note at this pitch in five different places on the guitar neck. And it is common to be able to play any of the pitches on the guitar neck in around three to five different places. By contrast, a pianist only has to contend with one location for each individual pitch on the piano keyboard. And this is one reason why I think reading music is slightly more logical on piano than it is on guitar. Guitar is also one of the few instruments where you can come up with multiple left hand fingerings for the same phrase or idea. For example, if I take a very simple melodic phrase that sounds like this, well, I can also play it here. I can also play it here. And I can also play it right here. When trying to decide where to read something on the guitar neck, this can certainly make things a little bit confusing. The third reason is that you've become too dependent on guitar tab instead of learning how to read standard notation. Now, I'm not going to speak badly of tab. In fact, I think that guitar tab can be incredibly useful when you're studying contemporary styles of music. For example, in all of my guitar masterclasses at bensguitarclub.com, I include standard notation and tab because I think it's really important to be able to understand some of the fingerings that I like to use. The guitar, as you can see, is not a piano. It has six strings and at times can be a little confusing. As a result, I think that guitar tab can be an incredibly useful visual aid when you're trying to learn a new concept, idea, or piece of music. However, in most professional music situations, there will be no guitar tab available, just standard notation. In fact, in a lot of professional music situations that I've encountered, I've been handed sometimes a bass part in bass clef or a piano part, and then I have to make sense of it somehow 
on guitar. These are just some of the reasons why reading can be quite difficult on guitar. And if you've encountered any additional difficulties when it comes to reading music on this instrument, make sure to drop a comment and let me know. So before we discuss whether or not it is important that guitarists in the present day are able to read music at all, let's look at three solutions for the three problems that we just discussed. The first problem I discussed related to confidence and the legend of guitarists being bad readers affecting your overall confidence. There's one way to overcome this, and that is by practicing reading as much as possible. For example, I like to keep numerous Bach transcription books around, and every day when I'm practicing, I like to pick out a random page from one of these books and try to read it. One of my favorite Bach transcription books to use for this purpose is Sonatas and Partitas for the Violin. And to really put your reading to the test in a low pressure environment, Try to organize some jam sessions or practice sessions with other musicians where you all bring a piece of music and you all have to sight read the music together. A low pressure environment where you can practice reading music with other people will likely be very beneficial in developing your reading skills. The second problem I discussed related to how many places you can play the same pitch on the guitar neck. It can make things very confusing when you're deciding where on the guitar neck you're going to read a certain phrase or perhaps an entire piece of music. A great way to overcome this is by isolating one area of the guitar neck and subsequently reading just in that one position. For example, let's take the double from Bach's Violin Partita No. 1 in B minor. I like to start this off in the fourth position. So that means that in the fourth position, my first finger on the left hand will fall at the 4th fret, for example, right here at B on the 4th fret of the G string. Since I'm in the 4th position, that means that the remaining fingers fall on the subsequent frets, regardless of which string I am playing on. If I wanted to read the opening of this piece just in the 4th position, it might sound, and for that matter look, a little bit like this. So you can see I'm just playing the first few bars right there in the fourth position. Perhaps it won't always be possible to adhere to just one position, but if you can try to limit yourself to just reading in one place, you'll be able to identify the notes in a specific area of the guitar neck a little faster and subsequently be able to read in that position in real time. The final problem relates to being too dependent on guitar tab. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's nothing wrong with tab. It certainly has an appropriate time and place, but being too dependent on tab can be incredibly restrictive. You can overcome this by trying to practice reading with anything from a classical guitar score with standard notation, a piano score, even a piece of music written in bass clef. It can be fantastic just to try and identify these notes on the guitar neck as best you can. It's always good to keep guitar tab in your back pocket but it's not so good to be entirely dependent on it. And now for the big question, do guitarists in this day and age still need to be able to read music at all? Well, of course that depends upon many factors. For example, what style of guitar are you primarily trying to play? Are you going to play just for personal enjoyment or do you want to play professionally? These are all valid considerations to take into mind when deciding whether or not to allocate your time practicing reading music. There is of course no perfect answer to this question, but for me personally, I've found that being able to read has ultimately enriched my playing immeasurably. Not only has reading made it possible for me to learn beautiful pieces of music, for example, written by Bach, that I otherwise might not have experienced had I not been able to read, I've also been able to work in certain professional situations where reading was essential. There have certainly been occasions where I probably wouldn't have been hired had I not had some type of ability to read music. So for my money, I reckon it's absolutely worthwhile learning to read music on guitar, if only for the fact that it's going to open you up to a whole new world of music that you might not have been able to get to if you weren't able to read. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like down below and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my future playing videos, lesson videos, 
or important discussions about music a bit like this one. And if you'd like to learn my approach to guitar, make sure to join me over at bensguitarclub.com where you can pick up my guitar masterclasses and bundle packages. What are you going to sight read on guitar today? Drop a comment, let me know, and I'll see you next time.